Okay, we're going to pick up right where we left off in the last video, and we were dealing with lists. So another thing I wanted to show you is the delete statement. So let's go ahead and specify that. So you type in DEL, and then we specify our variable. And then what we do is go ahead and put in square brackets right here. And let's go ahead and put in a position of zero. And then let's go ahead and execute this. And you can see football, which was in the position of zero, is removed. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, how is this different from the remove, which we did in the last video? How is that different from the remove method? Well, if you remember, we actually had to specify the value. Here, we're actually giving the position in the index. So let's actually go ahead and remove baseball now instead. So let's go ahead and specify a one here. And now you can see baseball is gone. Now we can also do a range. So let's go ahead and do position one through four. Let's go ahead and run this. And now you can see we just have football left. Now you remember we were talking about a few videos where we were doing ranges. Remember you always have to go one past the final range. So let's count these out. Zero, one, two, three. So if we put a three here, this should not be removed. And it wasn't. Did you see that? Only baseball and hockey were removed. So remember, when you're specifying this final range value, you have to go one beyond what you want to remove. In this case, this is correct because hockey was removed, which is in position two. So just remember that. Now you could use the delete statement to remove the entire list, but there's actually an easier way to do that. And you can use the clear method. So let's go ahead and type in the period to access the clear method. And this does not take any argument. So this will clear out the entire method. So let's go ahead and execute that. And you can see the reason we got none is there's nothing left here, right? There's nothing left to print out. The entire list has been cleared out. Now let's go ahead and put in a duplicate member because I want to show you the count method. So let's put in, uh, let's go ahead and put baseball in again. So we've got, so we've got two baseball values. Now what you can do is count how many times a particular value appears inside your list. And we use the count method for that. And then we just specify the value that we want to count. And in this case, it's going to be baseball. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see we got a two, which is what we expected. Now let's go ahead and specify football and we should get a one. So a good use case for this, let's say you were setting up an inventory inside a computer game and you wanted to know how many times they had a particular item. You could go ahead and use the count method to figure that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of the count. We're not gonna do that again. So now what we're gonna do is talk about the pop method. And we're actually gonna do two prints here so I can show you how this works exactly. And you know what, let's go ahead and get rid of our extra value here. We don't need that anymore. So what the pop method basically allows you to do is it allows you to remove the value of a given position inside your list and then it will return it as well. So that's the difference between the pop and the delete statement that we talked about earlier. The delete will just remove it, but the pop removes it and it will go ahead and return it. So this is good if you wanna do something with that value and remove it at the same time. That's basically what the pop does. So let's go ahead and specify that. And we're not gonna put in any arguments. Now, if you don't put in any arguments, what'll happen here is it will actually work against the last value in your list. So what's gonna happen here is it's gonna go ahead and remove this, delete it, and then it's going to return it. So we're gonna get two prints here. We're gonna get basketball first printed out, and then we're gonna get our list printed out that will no longer have basketball. So let's go ahead and run that. And you can see it worked perfectly. Take a look at that. We returned to basketball and our list now no longer has it. So we know the pop method worked. So let's go ahead now and specify a position in our list. So let's go ahead and specify the zero position. Now what should happen is football will be removed. And so we're sort of overriding the default. So let's go ahead and run this. And there you can see it worked perfectly. Football was removed and returned and the list no longer contains it. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.